Yo, what's up guys? I'm Charles and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna be doing episode 35 of the RuneScape 3 vlogs where we're gonna be killing Nax again. We're gonna be learning the Ambassador and we're gonna be upgrading some perks for fire making as well along with some other things. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. Oh, nice. Pernix chops. I was kind of down because we didn't get any drops last hour but Pernix chops in the bank. Second hour of Nexus up and we didn't get any more drops except for one Onyx Bolt drop and I had some in my bank from earlier. So let's do the price check, 175 or 375. And then 17 mil for the Pernix chaps, which I think sell for more than that. So 10, 10 mil at, for each hour, pretty nice, 20 mil total. And we are gonna put those into the Invention Guild. And while I'm going there, we're gonna take a look at the collections. Or not collection, just the next tab in general. Where is he? Or is she? Next. We are one hour away from hitting that um, 2k mark. And the collection, again, I'm just showing it because for anyone who hasn't seen it, but the Virtus one is the only thing we're missing. We've got everything else, pretty much duplicate for everything else. Actually, this is the first time we get a second per next chap. That's the first duplicate for that. Anyway, let's move into the auto walker and we have 5 million here. Pretty nice. It's completely empty though. And then we're going to put what's half of this 560 in here. And then on the other one, 5 mil as well. And 565 balls go in there. Total amount 10 mil from the auto walkers and the premix chaps. Nice. I finished an hour at Greg and I don't know what loot I had because I accidentally hit a preset on my bank and all the loot went in there. So all we have out here is an essence that we did get, 14 mil. Again, that is the most common drop, so hopefully we'll be getting a bunch of those while we complete the log. My crystal tinderbox just got to level 20 and that means we get more out of our perks and I don't have the best perks in here. I just put some randomly a long time ago. We have Pyromaniac 3, Rapid 1 and Tinker 2. So I haven't upgraded them since Ancient Invention came out and I'm going to do that now. Also, I wanted to show you something I just learned. You can use these fire lighters, you can strike them and that will give you a buff in your buff bar and that just means Whenever you're doing fire making and one of the fire spirits comes out, it'll auto claim it, which is really nice if you're trying to AFK it. So really recommend that. And they're not expensive at all. Also, I forgot to mention each one gives you five minutes and you can strike a bunch of them up to 60 minutes. So you can just use 12 of them and that'll put you up to one hour without having to use another one and auto claiming all fire spirits. The first one we're gonna go for is Tinker 4 and the way to get it is using fungal components. It's six fungal components and three clockwork components. So let's give it a shot and Tinker 4, first try, nice. The next one we're gonna try for is Pyromaniac 6 and Rapid 2. And for this one, you do need an extreme invention potion. So let's sip that. And the way to get it is with seven of these light components and then two explosive components. Let's try to get it. Pyromanic 4-2. Nope. Nope. There we go. Third try. I think that's pretty lucky. This has like a little bit under 10% chance. So three tries for this. I'll take it. The last step is to use a Gizmo Dissolver on the current one. Oh, and I'm going to need two of them. Whoops. Let's go to the exchange. Sell history. Maybe repeat. Give me. Okay. And then the other one. Bye-bye. And here we go, Pyro 6, Rapid 2, and Tinker 5. That's the best in slot perks for the for the Tinderbox. Nice! Yes! Torva Play Legs! That is awesome! Nice! That is the second most expensive drop at next. I'm so happy. Yes! Oh my god! Another drop on the same hour. This is Pernix Boots. Pernix Boots, 7.7 mil. One of the cheaper drops, but I can't really complain now, can I? 
First hour at next is done and we didn't get any onyx balls or any other drops but we did get the turbo plate legs and the burning boots which comes out to a 60 almost 69 mil hour that's insane we're gonna reset the aura and go for another hour and at this point like i've always said i just want the virtus one <laughs> i want the virtus one and move on to another boss Oh my god, first kill of the second hour, we just got Torva Boots. These hours are insane. I think I, have, I already have two pairs in the bank of those. That's crazy, let's keep going. Oh my god, another drop and it's Torva again. 19 mil, these two hours have been crazy. We still have like four more kills. Nice. Along with two Onyx Ball drops, so these two hours were amazing, 113 mil in two hours, that's about 56, 57 mil per hour. It's crazy. I'm gonna go dump these Onyx Bolts into the Auto Alchemist and see if we have any money in there as well. 375 bolts in here, that makes 460 bolts in there, that's gonna be a good amount of money. And then all of these in here, and then we can just sweep through all that. 8.5 mil from that, and we still have around, I wanna say 10 mil here. Maybe a little bit more. 1,000 kills and we still haven't got the title. But we're going to keep grinding it. Eventually that one is going to drop and we are going to be done with next. For Dormant Anima Core Legs, which are right here in the bank. And this is what the loot, le loot tab is looking like. I think I've never shown this. So all of these items are just random items that I haven't used. Then I have all my Stone Spirits that I get from drops. Then Rare Drop Table. And then this is next Gregorovic and some other random buses like Solak, Torn Pages. And this is the loot we've gotten from next that we have in the bank. We have Birdus Rope Top, Pernix Chaps, Pernix Boots, Torva Plate Legs, Torva Gloves, Torva Boots. And I have two sets of Torva Gloves selling in the GEs. So that is another two items in there. Killed Solak. The only boss we're missing for Reaper Crew is the Ambassador. And that I can actually try and solo. I've never killed him before, obviously. I've done the other two, but I died a bunch of times when I got to the ambassador, so I just quit. And we are going to try and kill him now. We've got the ZGS now, and we've got upgraded abilities like superior bar or greater barge, greater fury, greater flurry, things like that. So we should be able to kill him now. And that's what, what we're going to be doing next. Once you get Reaper Crew, you do get some bonuses. You get a uh, plus two prayer bonus, 20 armor, 200 life points. Uh, 12 melee, 12 range, 12 magic strength. So that is a really good bonus to get and we are going to try and get it now. Okay, I'm ready to give this a shot. This is my inventory. I got a Reaper Demon, I got Vampirism Scrimshaw and I am gonna use the Vampirism Aura just to learn this thing. So let's give it a shot. Nice. New personal record apparently, three minutes. That took a while, but I think I've got the hang of them. Second buzz done. We have made it to the ambassador mm -hmm. and now it's time to re-gear and give it a shot. No. Nope. No. 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 I ran out of food. I was in the last phase though, so I think I can do it. Come on. No! Oh, that's even worse. No, sir, you where you at? No! 100k HP. Uh -huh. 77k, I am so close. I'm just using too much food because I'm messing up. I'm so close. 
Ah, oh, 66k, I'm getting so close, but I'm running out of food. I'm very stubborn and wanted to learn this with a Reaper Demon, but I've been at it this all, all day and it's really hard, so I think I'm gonna bring a Yak till I get used to it, and I think I can I can get it with a Yak, because I've, I've died a couple times in the last phase just because I run out of food, so I, I Yak should do it. Let's go. Get the solo ambassador down. We'll give it another shot tomorrow or whenever I have time. My I used two berserker auras on it, so right now I'm out of berserker. I don't want to try it without berserker because I can't one cycle it, and it's uh, really annoying to two cycles. So I'm gonna just take a break and come back to it, and maybe we can get it then. I think I have most of the first phase down. I am doing pretty good on that phase. The Ripper Demon was helping a lot, a lot more than I thought it was, but the Pack Yak is gonna be better. We are gonna get that um, that kill with the Pack Yak. I'm struggling on the third phase on the Mage Onslaught when I don't have Devotion. That's where I'm really struggling. I'm getting hit really hard and getting KO'd. So I'm gonna have to practice that. That I died here, I spent a lot of money, so we are gonna have to sell the loot tab to get some money back. I do have 5 mil, that's because I've, I sold some other stuff that I had in here. But I am gonna sell the loot tab, and I guess I'm gonna show you guys when it's all sold. I'm gonna slow sell it, so it might be a few clips of things selling. Almost everything is done selling, so at this point we're just gonna insta sell this for whatever it goes. I tried uh, selling it slowly to get more money, but that didn't really work. And for these, it's only 130 of them left. So let's just insta sell that as well. Collect this to the inventory. And now we have a total of 237 mil that we can keep spending to try to kill the ambassador. Yes! I did it! I finally did it! Yes! Path complete bossing, we've killed one of every boss. Reaper crew, we did it! That means one kill at every boss. And of course we didn't get a drop on our first kill, that would have been insane. But our time was seven minutes, which I think it's pretty good for the first kill. I one cycled it. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I one cycled it, so. That was pretty good, and I absolutely turned through my yak on the last phase. Since I didn't get to the last phase that much, I didn't get to practice. The second mage onslaught was just destroying me. I need to learn how to deal with that better, but we did it. That's all we care about right now, and I think we are back on the next grind until we get that Virtus 1, and this is the next dungeon that we're probably going to camp. Once I'm done with next, this is going to be my quote-unquote hard boss that I'm gonna be going for so that was a lot of fun I died god knows how many times I teleported out uh, about a hundred other times so I'm so glad we completed that and that is the Reaper coup completed we also get the damage boost so I don't know how big that is it's a 12 on 12 boost on each style I don't know how big that is or how small that is but hopefully it'll make uh, the next kills better random uh, elite dungeons that I did before. I think I did uh, a run of these before and then this run. So it's 16 mil in here. Those block to stone hearts and an onyx are actually really good. We have some draconic energy from ED2 and some relics. So we're gonna claim that and sell it as well. Run out of energy. Uh, so these go in here. These go in here. Uh, and over here, another 4 mil. Yes. And then these go in here. This go in here. And I guess this one I have to lock myself, it won't let me put it in there, but 8 mil into the pouch, and I have no clue what that is going to be, but some amount of money in there as well. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. You can also click on screen now to go to my channel, my vlogs playlist, and my most recent video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!